M-O-M-M-Y-S. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Mommy, and I'm back. Hey, on my pet rock named Jerry, I'm back. Yo, check it. Today, we got a little crunker tutorial for you guys. And this tutorial is for all the people that are constantly in my Twitch chat, constantly in my YouTube comments, constantly in my Discord. Link to all those will be in the description, by the way. Everyone always asking me, Mom, can you please update your settings? Can you please show me how to make my screen like this? Can you please show me how to make my numbers like this? So that's exactly what we're going to be getting into today. Every single setting from top to bottom, A through Z, is exactly what I'll be sharing with you guys today. Crunker has a ton of settings to be customized, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have Crunker open on whatever we use it on, whether it be browser, client, anything, settings will all be the same across the board. So once you have it open, you want to go ahead and go to your settings icon, which will be typically at the bottom left, unless you are using some type of different client. Uh, then you go into your settings and starting in the general tab, we are going to localization. Your default region is whichever region is close to you. Don't use mine unless you are from like the West Coast or something. Uh, language is whatever language you speak. Networking. This is really, really important to a lot of people, including myself. Uh, lag comp, I keep at one. You can actually do anything between zero and one. I've never done anything in between like 0.5. I always just kept it at a solid one. I feel like this helps me kill people past walls a little bit uh, more often. And when I'm running through people, I tend to get kills when I'm running through people. Auto routing, I've played with this on and off. When it's on, I get more micro stutters in my game, but it also feels like my bullets connect a little bit better. So I play with it on sometimes, I play with it off sometimes. It really just depends on how I'm feeling that day. If my internet is like running well, if like everything's just feeling good, then I'll play with it on. High tick rate, I keep on all the time. High tick rate is super duper important. The game feels infinitely times better with high tick rate. Uh, aim freeze fix, I don't have any problems with that, so I keep it off. Shader based rendering, I keep off as well. I don't really notice any difference in the game whenever I have shader based rendering on. So let's move on to the controls portion. Um, this, I would say for most people is pretty preference when it comes down to sensitivity. But personally, I'll show you guys my keybinds too, just in case uh, anybody's curious about that. My jump is space, my crouch is shift, really, really standard uh, keys for people to use. Reload, aim, shoot, everything. My aim and shoot, these aren't actually, I use my mouse for that. I don't know why it says that, but I guess I could aim with those as well. Primary weapon, melee weapon, uh, I use as uh, Q, but I usually just do one, two, three. So none of this really matters. Um, inspecting is really important to me i have it set as my mouse bind uh spraying spraying is also not that important interacting is important for anybody that likes to do custom lobbies uh, secondary interact interface kill streaks if anybody wants to copy these down these are all preference on where your hands feel most comfortable on the keyboard when you use them so when it comes down to the key bindings guys the only real basic ones that you guys should copy down probably to make the game easier is the WASD for moving forward, back, left, and right, if you're new to just gaming in general. And then the jumping being space, and then crouching being shift. I know a lot of people use C to crouch in other games, or, you know, a plethora of different buttons. But in this game, it just works out with your hand placement, and how often you have to crouch when it comes to slide hopping, to just keep the crouches shift. So let's get out of uh, the key binds, and let's go back to just the controls. So as far as gameplay goes, guys, like I was saying earlier, it's pretty much just preference based when it comes to your sensitivity. I've been playing around with these. I used to be on 0.42. Now I'm on 0.5 all the way across the board. I feel like when it comes down to my 180s and when it comes down to me flicking on people, I flick a lot cleaner um, on a higher sense because I do play a low DPI. My DPI is 400 for anybody that's wondering. Um, that's also really important when you're coming up with your sensitivity with which one you plan on using is uh knowing what dpi you plan on because my 400 dpi at 0.5 cents isn't going to be like your 800 dpi at 0.5 cents it's going to be basically double for you so if you have 800 dpi make this like 0.25 and you'll be somewhere around the closeness it's not the exact same to what i use because it's dpi versus in-game sense but i don't think you'll be able to tell the difference non-fps sliding is really important if you get anything below 1000 fps because this um basically makes it uh basically allows the player to slide hop like he has a thousand fps so typically anybody that gets over a thousand fps you want to turn that off but me i get like 300 to 400 so i want to go ahead and keep that on scroll direction not really sure what that makes a difference for but i keep it on uh challenge mode uh if you ever want to gain some stonks and kr go ahead and turn that on 
controller doesn't really matter since I don't use controller, but these are some pretty decent controller uh, settings, at least whenever I did plug in my controller for a couple different things while we were uh, live streaming. This seemed to work out pretty darn well. Uh, let's see, going on to display, let's start to at the very, very top, the UI scale I keep at 0.8 because I like to be able to see things. I feel like 0.8 is pretty visible. Show UI all the time. Use old scoreboard. That's really, really big for me. I like to see the people in the lobby with me uh, in the top right. I don't have the new scoreboard where you have to press a button to bring it up. Uh, disable rarity animations. That's perfectly fine with me. Show profile pictures. I keep off just in case somebody wants to make a joke while I'm streaming and have a bad profile picture. Dynamic HP bars. I want to know whose HP is at what when I'm shooting at them. Therefore, I want to keep it dynamic. Show hit indicators. I don't really care. I don't need those. I listen for the sounds because I have hit marker sounds. Um, hit indicator color doesn't matter because I don't have it. Show damage. Damage is on for sure. Damage color uh, on for sure. Crit color is yellow. Anytime I get a critical hit, make sure it's yellow. Damage scale 0.4. So it's not too big, not too small. 0.4. It's really uh, easy on the eyes. Show kill feed for sure. I like knowing what's going on in the kill feed. Uh, show kill counter, death counter, score counter, street counter. All of those are off because I really don't care. I don't care if I'm on a kill streak. I don't care if I'm on a death streak. I don't care what my score is because it's going to show me at the end of the game. And my streak counter is in the kill feed. So with the kill feed on, I can see when I'm on a five kill streak. I can see when I'm on a 10 kill streak. I can see when I'm on a 15 kill streak, yada, yada, yada. And then the nuke obviously just pops up whenever you get the 25 kill streak. So it's not like you need to know. I feel like it's just mentally you're going to try a lot harder if you see that you're on a 20 kill streak and then you're going to get all broken up if somebody kills you on a 23 kill streak and you're going to be like, oh my God. Where me, on the other hand, I don't really realize that I'm close to a nuke unless somebody in my chat's like, oh, dude, you just died off 23. And then I'll go back and I'll read the chat and I'll be like, oh, you know what? I did. Oh, well, it's just stuff that I do to make me feel better and to make the game feel better for me. Uh, show ping for sure. Show FPS. Sometimes I play with this off, but people will get really curious of what my FPS is, so I keep it on now. Show movement speed. No way, Jose. Don't really care about it. Speed X. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because I have it off. Uh, speed color. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Show metals. I like the metals on whenever I get a kill, uh, just in case I don't know how I got so many points. I like to see maybe I got a headshot. Maybe I got something. Name tag display. Everyone. I like to see people's names. I feel like it's easier for me to see them across the map. I feel like a lot of people don't play with name tag display on and I respect it. Uh, chat always show chat box. Uh, this is just for memes profanity filter. I keep that off show player messages show unboxing chat opacity chat background chat text outline for sure. I like the way it looks with the outline chat height not too big because I don't really care about it but I like to keep it up uh, chat timer. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should start using that but it doesn't really matter to me. Crosshair guys freeze it right now if you guys are interested in the crosshair that I'm using right now I only use in-game crosshairs. So like I don't use any type of out of game uh, Like click and drag or put into your settings I only use the custom ones that are built in the game just because I feel like a lot of people don't actually center their crosshairs And if I use the in-game one, I know for a fact that it's centered So I use the solid circle with a one opacity because I want to see it always show so even when I'm ADS, it doesn't get rid of my red dot. I think it's really important to have it always showing colors red because it's really easy to see on a lot of colors, especially with my mod pack. Shadow color is the out outline of it, which I keep white just in case it's on a red background. I have the white outline on it. Shadow thickness isn't too thick, but you can see the outline thickness of the crosshair in general is set to two size is set to 2.5. So pretty small, but not too small for people to see it. Uh, hit markers. This is when you have it on. So show color could be white kill color red opacity one length 25 thickness seven spacing 37 animation size is 0.14 animation speed is 0 .000, 0 .008. 0 and then the fade speed is 0 .0062. I don't know what made me want to do all that, uh, but my hit marker image is blank. <laughs> so yeah, moving on to the render. Let's scroll all the way back up to the top resolution. I have at a solid one. I used to play on two, but when people get my settings into their game, they're always wondering why their game is lagging so much. And that's because the resolution is set to two uh, instead of it just being one like they're typically used to frame cap. I don't know why anybody would use a frame cap unless you have like a crazy, crazy build and you're getting like massive FPS drops, uh, like say you're getting like 1500 FPS somewhere and then you get like 1100 FPS somewhere else. 
then you know just cap it at 1100 fps uh then move on you know what i'm saying okay so since i don't get anywhere near those i take my frame cap off aspect ratio i play 1440 by 1080 let me switch that it's just different because i'm in the web browser right now this is the most important section when it comes to the settings by the way ladies and gentlemen so if you guys need to pause the video make sure to pause the video right now do whatever you need to do because these are super duper important when it comes to getting your fps and when it comes to maximizing your game settings so anti-aliasing off post-processing on low spec off no textures off map details are on i like to see the little details particles of the map i don't really care for particle distance doesn't really matter because you don't have the particles on i keep it at 160 render distance at a complete 100 shadows are on shadows help me out immensely guys you don't understand when it comes to seeing somebody they don't even have to be on my screen for me to see their shadow on the ground so when somebody is turning a corner on me sometimes i'll know they're already there just based off of the shadow uh, so soft shadows on, high res shadows on, dynamic shadows on, ambient shading on, bullet trails feel free to leave off unless you like seeing your bullet trails, then by all means go ahead. Your trails on, muzzle flash off because I don't really care for the muzzle flash. Sniper flap, still have no idea what that does because the sniper isn't on my screen. Texture animations, I keep those on. As you can see when I turn it off, there's no animation on the hacky eight. Turn it back on, there's the animation again object animations that's where you would see uh if something was floating around me then you would see uh the object floating around me screen shake all the way off man don't need my screen shaking at all don't know why anybody would need it on weapon shine you can turn that completely off and lighting is set to high uh they previously had a something broken with the highlighting and then they they fixed it to where you no longer get the random lines in your map so highlighting super duper perfect it's fantastic uh, moving on to the HUD, which is like your heads up display. The HUD health high, we can do that on HUD health low. It shows whenever it's low, it goes to uh, pink. Speed lines, I turn those off. I don't really think I need the speed lines. Speed line colors, uh, it's off doesn't really matter. Show pop up score, that's on for sure because I like to see every time that I get the pop up kill. Uh, pop up score color is pink, you know, it looks a little nice. Pop up score shadow. Don't really need that. Uh, don't I can't see the shadow anyways. Pop up score scale, like I said earlier, it's kind of kind of big, not too big, small enough to where I can see it. Uh, just enough to I can actually tell that I'm getting the kill. Pop up score offset is 4.9, and the Y offset is 3.7. Um, this is just basically so it's not in the center of your screen. It's kind of away in the right. Uh, saturation in game is set to 2.3 because if you desaturate the game to one. It kind of doesn't look that well to me. It looks a little dead and on the eyes. Uh, it looks a little unlively. So when we sent it to 2.3, as you can tell in the background, I'm going to go ahead and lower it again. Look right here in the background when I lower it, and you'll be able to tell the difference immediately. So this is on one, right? You can see in the background where my mouse is that it's, you know, it's looking a little dull, looking a little dead. And then we move this on up to 2.3 because that's where I play at. I look at the background oh my goodness i could raise my family on this map now this is beautiful all right saturation on the ui is 2.6 doesn't really matter to anybody but me if you guys want to see the saturation difference this is what it looks like i keep it on 2.6 because i think it looks good color hue in game if you want to switch this up you can change the colors in game uh i don't need to everything's on zero uh don't even know how to pronounce this i think it's called uh vignette or whatever the fuck never said this word in my life i always just see it on my phone and stuff but it's basically just the shadowing around it's like a circular shadow around your game. I don't know why anybody would use it. So I just go ahead and turn that off. Kill feed limit. Uh, I set it to eight because I feel like an eight man on, on kill feed is pretty good. Um, don't want the kill feed going up too high on my screen. And bullet tracers are all the way off. And let's move on to the game portion. Um, anonymous mode I keep off. Streamer mode off. Field of view is set to a solid 110, guys. With the 110 field of view, uh, I don't recommend anybody plays at 150. I think 150 is kind of ridiculous and no other game really plays at 150. 110 isn't too ridiculous. 120 is usually where other games max out on. But uh, there's other games like Apex Legends and such that max out on 110. So I feel like 110 is good to be uh, safe, uh, but not sorry. But also, I mained Apex Legends for a really long time. And I just recently went from 120 to 110. Not too big of a difference, but um kind of minute to where you'll hit a little bit more shots weapon fov i set that to complete max because i love my noodle arms 
weapon bobbing completely off weapon leaning completely off weapon rotation off zero 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 all the way across the board weapon x offset one 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 point one Epin, weapon y offset 1.1 weapon z offset 2 that's just so my arms are all the way out with the 150 weapon fov the weapon ads y offset is set to one uh left-handed we you can turn that on if you want to be cool left-handed player ads fov power this is very very interesting because this is how far you zoom in or what your fov will be after you aim down your sight so if you have it set to 0.2 you'll have a very very minute fov so it'll be a small change from where you are un not aimed on your site to where you are aimed on your site but if you have it set to one that's like the default crunker has always been your ads whenever you aim down your site it zooms in to a certain uh, range so you can play with this and see if you like it i keep it at one because i've been playing crunker for a really long time and my movement is kind of based on being able to aim down my site and have the fov go a little bit lower because i pick up speed like that so i have to keep it on one uh, weapon aim animation. I keep this off uh, just because I think it looks weird. And I used to have this placebo effect that whenever I use a sniper with the weapon aim animation, it just would take longer. Hide weapon on ADS. Um, if I was anybody that would show my weapon, I would probably hide it on ADS, but that's just me. I don't even show my primary, which is what we're getting into right now. The only thing that I show is my hands because I want to see the melee. Um, primary is off. I don't really need the gun on my screen to know that it's there. Uh, secondary, sometimes it'll be on, sometimes it'll be off. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Secondary is off. Uh, show melee, that's what I keep on. I have the show melee, show hands. Uh, just so I can flex my hands every now and again and flex my knife. Uh, round arms, I keep those off. Load mods, uh, I have load mods on. Allow logo changes is off. Auto load mod is off. Scope border is all the way off. Make sure you take off scope borders, guys, that definitely don't need that. Uh, scope image, you will be able to find in the description of this video or in my Discord. Either way, you can find it absolutely anywhere. Uh, I will be putting it down there. It is just for a blank scope, which is essentially just like your red dot with no background. There's no actual scope to it. Uh, have no reticle, no reticle image, no reticle image height, no, uh, my match end message is just some self promo guys. You already know the deal. Definitely use these match end messages for as much promo as you can. In my opinion, ammo icon image, none, nothing there. Cause I don't use them guys. So no ammo, no kills, no death, no street counter icon. None of those use damage overlay. I guess I can turn that off cause there's no damage overlay. Uh, timer icon image game overlay image none of that there's nothing there just bare minimum guys now let's move on over to last but not least the sound of our game now as far as the master volume goes we got it set to 0.4 because i notice it's just super loud especially when i enter the market the ambient volume sent to a straight zero uh, if you have this up you can actually listen to some music whenever you are just loaded into the game because there's some ambient music that plays uh, voice volume I have this set to zero just in case somebody has like their voice uh, mic plugged in, in in game chat uh, Don't really need to hear them weapon volume I have set to point three not too loud in my ears But at the same time, I'm still able to hear other people's weapons from across the map player volume is set to point five I couldn't really tell you I believe this is whenever like your player hits the ground or like if he coughs or something in the game I have it set to point five nothing too crazy UI volume is set to a point one very not high at all if you guys can even hear this right now i don't think you guys can even hear that uh it's very very low so then your ears don't get absolutely blown out whenever you're just trying to move through the, your menu and asset volume is set to 0 0.7 don't even ask me what that is i just keep it at a pretty fair minimum but guys this is going to completely wrap up our settings video i'm going to run through these one more time for anybody that has made it to the end of the video and still need some more clarification just make sure to pause it wherever you may feel that's necessary in this video and i'm sorry for the long video guys but this is just there's so much customization in crunker that there's no way this video could have been any type shorter but you motherfuckers know the rules thank you so much for watching me show you guys my settings let me go all the way down on my display settings again There we go, going all the way down on the display settings, going all the way back up. Got the low spec, the no textures, resolution set to one, no frame cap, guys. These are all super duper important when it comes to getting high FPS in your game. Like I said before, 
If you guys had missed anything prior, make sure to pause the video now while I'm going through all these settings. So hopefully you can catch it. I'm Mommies, and this has been me teaching you how to pwn nibs with god tier settings in Crunker. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop a like, and like I typically say in the beginning of the video, subscribing helps me out immensely. If you guys didn't like the video, I'm extremely sorry to hear that, but make sure to dislike it. Hopefully I have something better tailored towards you in the future. If you have any questions about your settings, my settings, or any settings at all, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I respond to everyone, but maybe, just maybe, yours might be in the next video. You guys know the rules, and if you don't already, I'm glad to introduce you to them. It's the fact I want you to have a good day, have a great night, and remember, Mommy loves you. Peace, guys.